Welcome to Bad Decisions, the stream. Mr. Sakurai has me by the balls. It's now 8.53 a.m. here on the East Coast. And... I woke up around 8.30. I didn't set an alarm. My brain, my soul, woke me up. And it was at that moment I said, Oh, all right, fuck it. <sighs> Vinny, you sound drunk. Yeah, that's called three and a half hours of sleep. The XCOM RNG got you. <laughs> yeah, I said there was a 98% chance that I would not be restreaming this. You know what? Um, yeah, we hit- there it is. 2% chance. Um, I forgot to change the title on YouTube, but I didn't even go public on the YouTube thing anyway, so that's one notification people aren't getting. Uh, but yeah, hi everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm extra grumpy. So, this character better be good. If it's, like, a character from a series I've never played before... I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's got, you know, I mean, hopefully it'll win me over. Hopefully it'll be good. Um... I like Smash enough to wake up for this, but I wouldn't do this for Pokémon. I wouldn't do this for a lot of other games. Vinny, what happened to not waking up? Okay, so... Rewind the stream. <laughs> About... Two minutes. If you can do that. I'm not drinking coffee because I'm going back to bed after this. So, again, you know, I'm, I'm here. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Is anyone else up at a time that's way too early for them? Anyone? Six a.m. Yeah. I feel bad for the people on the West Coast. I mean, it's, you know, 8.55 a.m. here, and, you know, my sleep schedule's fucked. So I'm up, I'm up at, like, a really late hour before going to bed, and then I wake up pretty fucking late. So this is, you know, this is, like, ridiculous. I can't even, like, I was thinking, like, maybe I'll just, like, boot up Dragon Quest while this is happening, and do some, like, forging, get some plus threes. Nope. The least amount of things I can do would be great. I mean, this isn't live, right? Mr. Sakurai is not gonna be live. Like, this is a pre-recorded Mr. Sakurai. Vinny, when is the new Red Vox single? Oh no. I may be up early and a little delirious, but even then, I'm not giving away that information. It's pre-recorded. Um, it's nearly 11 p.m. in Japan. I mean... Alright, fair enough. I don't know, I feel like maybe there, there could be a better time. I see something here. So, 8 Eastern is 2200 Japan. <laughs> Japan. Japan. Let's see. Maybe there's a time. Let's do time converter. Let's see. Maybe Sakurai could have picked a different time. Like, say, I don't know, 8 p.m. That would be 10 a.m. Japan Standard Time. 8 p.m. Eastern. How about even 9 p.m.? That's prime time, that's 11 a.m. Japan time. People are at work? Well, people aren't even up in the... <laughs> in the United States! Who the fuck is up on the West Coast? As someone's getting screwed. The point is, someone is getting screwed. And I'm thinking... 
it may as well be the US. Anyway, welcome to the stream. I hope you all are here. Hope you got your coffee, you got your tea, I hope you're awake. Hope you had good dreams. Maybe some of you just stayed up all night. I couldn't do that. I needed at least some sleep. Um, you know, again, I hope it's Dante. I would be fine with Doom Guy. Uh, that would be my number one choice, aside from a Chrono Trigger character. As I, you know, said the other day, I made a prediction that this is going to be um, the character reveal, and then we're going to find out what's happening for the next couple characters. You know, DLC two is back. D and C two, and then maybe we'll get a map as well, and you know, maybe. Um, oh God, yeah, we'll get some me stuff. I wonder if there's going to be, like, another Sans-level, um, me costume where people absolutely lose their shit. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not sure that that could exist. But, hey, whatever it is, it's more Smash Brothers, and then there's more after that. So, um, just remember, Mr. Sakurai literally ruined your life if you didn't get the character you wanted. So, no big deal. We are almost ready. Um, one minute to go, less than a minute. Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate from Sora Limited. We'll be using today's showcase to give you a first look at our next DLC fighter. With no pre-announcement. Actually, hardly anyone knows what we'll be announcing today, even among Nintendo staff worldwide. Oh, that's exciting. The development team and other stakeholders have been working on this fighter with the utmost secrecy. Which means other Nintendo staff around the globe will only start making preparations for release after the showcase has been broadcast. So, it won't be available right away. Please understand that it will take a little time. Oh no! <laughs> I think even many Nintendo employees will be surprised to see this and say, Wow, really? Wow, don't think... So, let's all share in the fun of getting our hands on the latest information. Is this dude gonna use all four controllers However, at the same time? You say, that's not the character I was picturing. I hope you don't have any hard feelings. No, no, no. Ruin my life, dude. The fighter reveal video. Once it starts, I think you'll figure out who it is pretty quickly. Now, let's do this. Here we go. We live in a pre-Fighter 5 world. And now we don't. It's Dante. It's Fire Emblem. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the time has finally come. It's a jape. It has to, to be a jape. Unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! <laughs> Going back to bed. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. This has to be James. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? Yeah, now I kind of am. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. Oh. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. You hmm, must join fuck. Smash. Oh. Huh? Join Smash Brothers already! What in the world are you waiting for? So joining Smash okay. consumes <laughs> the Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck off. Fuck off. Um, you know, listen, it's, it's another character, it's fine, <laughs> it's just, come on, Fire Emblem, there's gonna be another one, it's, it's gonna be Japes. And sooner than expected. I see. 
Too many swordsmen, are there? Yeah, yes. Thank you. You wield the sword as well? What will you do? You will not join Smash, and, so and Dante you will. plan to win the day? So be it. I'll reward your cleverness this time. Is that Rainbow from Slay the Spire? I recognize that move anywhere. How is this? I haven't played this game, so I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> That's me. I feel like that dude right now. Of anyone, you should be able to handle the hero's relics. With air and fire, strike with superior reach. Every overwhelming power. Every hoe is mad right now, I think. Across the globe. Unleash the blinding speed of fail not. I mean, at least it's fail not. Oh, it, well, listen. At least. At least there's different weapons this time. It's not just a sword. I'll probably enjoy playing this character. Yeah, I am in no way interested or excited in all this, but. Maybe if I had played Fire Emblem New Houses, that would... <laughs> I still can't believe it's a Fire Emblem character. Oh my god, so many fucking people are going to be so pissed. <laughs> we worked in secret for months. Hi, uh, yes, there you have it. It's a nice Fire cardigan, Mr. Fire Sakurai. Emblem Where'd you get... Houses, I kind of want that cardigan. Fire Emblem Three Houses was released just last summer, so it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This release is planned for January 28th. You'll have instant access if you have the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass, and it will also be available for purchase individually. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things, so don't worry. I can't believe Mr. Sakurai ruined my fucking life what is and gave me a deadly disease. Huh. It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you, so please be careful. Oh. Okay. The series' first entry launched in Japan on the Famicom in 1990. You could say it was a pioneer in the genre of tactical role-playing games. You might be wondering what makes it particularly tactical. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. <laughs> it burned our crops. A game in which you yep. advance units across a grid and battle. I think we know. I mean, the game already has when how many characters <laughs> era, there were lots of ones in which you command tanks aircrafts and so on but fire emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character sort of like in role-playing games checking twitter real quick oh yeah people are pissed yep plus something made it stand out from other nintendo products characters could permanently die mm -hmm. Permanently die, you say? I can't, that's interesting. Perhaps we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. He put ground-up beavers in our water supply. If fell in battle, you'd lose that unit. They'd be gone, and you couldn't use them again. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you. But a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. I feel like I can't go to bed. In the older games, I just can't because I know at the end of this he's going to announce again. another character. Scary. So people aren't like he knows. That's the why they held off for so long. Like he knows. War, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. The next pack it will be announced plus character number one, and that'll be in Several March or also April. Also, the Super Smash Brothers series and six of the seven can use a counter attack. It's their down special. There's actually a reason for this. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem Fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. First comes your opponent's turn. They attack, and you counter. Next comes your turn. 
Remember, now, don't don't hate him. Houses is the 17th game in the he didn't invent Fire Emblem. People Fire who aren't <laughs> Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are Fire Emblem many. bullied their way into Smash Brothers yet well, again. if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. I'll give it a try. Wait, how come we can do so many numbers on one hand? Oh, I see what he's doing. Is that like a Japanese thing? Is like a cultural thing? Oh, God! Oh! <sighs> so, you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? Fuck, he told us this whole time. Binary? Oh. This is zero. Fold this here and you get one, and then you get two. Then 2 plus 1 equals 3, so this would be 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then you get 16. The hell, Add dude? One and you get 17. Awesome, isn't it? People are saying, end me, in chat, over this. You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. That's more interesting to me than this character. All the way up to 1,023. If you've given up counting the knots in the tatami mat, you could always give it a go. What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? In Japanese, the male version of the main character is called Bereto and the female version is called Beresu. But in English, they share the same name, Byleth. Barrett? Byleth becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Don't spoil it. Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their school life and, well, you end up fighting the other houses. After a certain incident, five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. It's a very sad game in which your former allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. Man, I, I kind of do want to play this one day. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I know that was a big spoiler. Version of the game before its release. Yeah. I've already heard that that happens. I've done the same thing before with the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, for example. You lucky bastard. What about Breath of the Wild 2? Because I couldn't wait until launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it in time. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time, hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. I did the same this time, but with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for it. Yeah, have fun and of course, playing for 350 hours. The game has multiple routes and the outcome of each is very different. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope you'll understand. <laughs> Chat is so salty. I should point out that when I did the Terry Bogard showcase video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. But it's like this eating a McDonald's burger. For the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Right now, it's actually November. Fuck, dude. Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Someone said, oh wow, you could have cancelled it two months ago. <laughs> so, this is our new fighter, Byla. Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. Throws are not their strong point either. Uh -huh. Their grab lacks range. But actually, you could say that they're distance demon. Distance demon. Don't we call the that something different? Use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They look like bones, and there's a reason for that. First, let's talk about the weapon Byleth uses. Oh wow! For Look, input, it's Marth and Marth. The sword of the Creator. The sword of the Creator here is by the Marth and less weapon. color Marth. We use it for flurry attacks and tilt attacks, such as down tilt attacks, where it takes the form of a whip. 
They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. Desaturate. Here, I can do that. Desaturate. For their up smash attack, they'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. Okay, now, now it's just up air attack. Marth versus Marth. Wave the whip sword overhead. There we go. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. The up special move is really something. The sword extends like this, allowing you to do things like this. It was pretty terrifying how I knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition... No, not again. You can do awful things like this. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. It's not just your regular old sword. Exceed that percentage and you'll need to be careful. I mean, you may find it helpful to character looks time. fun to play a, like a little bit. I've um, already shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So that's the up special. Now for the sideways inputs. This is Erdvar, the same name as the weapon from Celtic mythology. First, we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, they have a long reach. Like so. Eggs. Marth's air attack Bacon. gives opponents a check too, right? Coffee. If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win Sausage. out, so you should be able to beat it. Toast. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long range. It'll connect even from here. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. How much more of this is there? And if you've knocked an opponent <laughs> down, the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. 20 more minutes. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. The shaft part is weaker. Don't say that. So it's not suited to close combat. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. That's why, as a rule, you want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. Or downward in this case. <laughs> Just close your eyes and lean back in your chair. Hmm. Byleth will simply swing the lance like this, but again, it has excellent reach. Do you remember when example, all the leaks when confirmed this distance, it'll still hit. that Dante was coming to Smash? Do you remember when people were like, oh, it's confirmed. It's been, it's definite. It's leaked. Confirmed. Actually, you can do a Smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. They kept this so secret that the people who leaked the information about Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses be careful. were shot. They were, they were killed. Only Sakurai was left alive. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. Such a secret so character in game. Well, although you'll be vulnerable when you land. Now, I feel like I should be paying attention to this. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. You know what? No. No, I'll it's just wait for the character to come out. In myth. First, the down air attack. It really is strong. You can try for a meteor effect with this attack. Next is the down smash attack. A heavy swing of the axe back and forth. As you can see, it has a great deal of launch power. And for the down special... Byleth channels all their energy into a devastating strike. Vinny, how disappointed are you that you got up early for this? I'm disappointed that my fucking brain woke me up at 8.30 without an alarm. But I'm in it for the long haul now. Which allows you to withstand an attack. Just so you know, if you execute a Falcon Punch at about the same time, it plays out like this. It's a bit slower than the Falcon Punch, but due to the super armor effect, you have the advantage. Unless you get grabbed. Oh, well, that, yep. Another notable aspect is that it lets you pass through platforms. While you're charging up, you can breeze past platforms like this to reach a lower area. It won't let you jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Then he please fast forward. 
Also, you can turn My around. My wizard? The swing takes a while. So if an opponent runs behind you during the move, you can quickly change direction. Even though it can be hard to land a hit with this move, it can be really effective when used against a group of opponents. Like, I kind of want to drop a Sam Jackson motherfucker Plus, right now. Even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. It's as if the quaking of the ground launches them. Motherfuck! By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series, because you'll just get loads of counters. It hits with that much power in a single attack. Counters can actually multiply the power of blocked attacks, and using easily anticipated attacks like this could just get you hit by counter after counter. Next, we have the neutral moves. The bow you use is called Feoma, which shares its name with the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. It only appears in a few neutral moves. You've got the neutral air attack. This attack is similar to a move of Pitts and other fighters like him. It lets you spin the weapon around. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. It seems pretty straightforward, right? But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this. I have a really good image for this. First, the biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. Can't find it you now. You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. It's also very powerful. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, you'll unleash a powerful arrow that looks like a beam of light. You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You charge up power like so, charge a bit more, and then fire. <laughs> but again, you'll need to take care when using this move. For one, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel it. out of it. Not even with the shield button. In other words, you're committed to firing it. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Once you've entered the stand, you won't be able to do anything. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters who have a move with the reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long-range move. Letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So, you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. By this final smash is called Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, there's a move called Ruptured Heaven. This is an enhanced version. As you can see, you team up with the mysterious Sothis and launch an attack together. Vinny, I think you're going to like this character. Sure. I have no emotional attachment to the character. Remember, that's everything. Now, let's talk about the That's color literally variation. everything. It's set up so that the default and odd-numbered color variations are male, while the even-numbered ones are female. However, the third, fourth, and fifth colors are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Oh, instincts. And what are the other Pokemon Go colors called? You, you, you. The sixth color is based whatever. on Sophus, who you just saw earlier. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on, <laughs> based on <laughs> something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Didn't we see this variation in the final Smash? There are now too many Fire Emblem characters for an eight-player smash. Next, I'll introduce the stage. Damn, didn't even for consider this one, that. We of course tried to recreate the place where you spend most of the game, Garrig Mach Monastery. This is how Garrig Mach Monastery is laid out in the original game. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. Is this like Harry Potter? I haven't played this game. It's, it's basically Hogwarts. Rotate through different areas, such as these four. 
Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. The first area is the marketplace. I think oh shit, it's John, Johnny, shopping. in the background, Johnny. The guests that appear um, here are students Bl of the Blimbo. Blue Lions house. Dimitri, oh. Dedu, and Ingrid. Well, I wasn't far off with Not Blimbo. Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. Dudu? They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Since it's a kingdom, Fartist? they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Dimitri is the future king. Dudu is from Fartist? He may or may not end up with just one eye. He's an unfortunate one, that one. There are vendors on either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things. But... Uh, here you can break them, you see? Yes. If you do break them, the stage will expand to the left and right. <laughs> I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> and in the background, you can see the gatekeeper. You often pass through this area and fire on them three houses, and you end up talking to him a lot. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious yep, gatekeeper is <laughs> a confirmed like playable character. That'll be the meme after this, won't it? You'll come crashing back down. People are gonna go mental for the gatekeeper. The, the absolute hero in the background, the gatekeeper. And the in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra of the Black Eagles. Take note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire. And as such, they embrace their military might. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock them down. However, Violet can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. Gatekeeper could reach it, but he's not so, playable. it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. And you can knock it down. Also, you can break this table. Like so. Oh. Just like the sign that reads Fooding Kazan in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Next up, the bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's very wide indeed. It's similar to the bridge of Elden stage. The guests are from the Golden Deer, Claude, Hilda, and Lawrence. They belong to the Leicester Alliance. Where's um? Where's Zell? Where's Cipher, Squall, Headmaster Sid, Selfie, and Claude is the sharpest of Quistus. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, some people aren't a bit of name overlap. Some people aren't into Lawrence. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, plain and simple. <laughs> you can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. You could also say it's a place where the fail knot really shines, and in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. And then finally, you fight in hell, which is where we're all at the right now. The last area is the cathedral, only with some platforms you can pass through. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Seteth, Flane, and Rhea. There's Seteth, who appears to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, Flane. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. Ah uh, yeah, Sedith grabs his chin. I feel might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Being the last area, it may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. 
Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give us precisely five players per side. Well, he's got to know. All right, here we go, Joker. He's, he's got to know that people. And hero. Hmm. Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo. By now, I think you know what I'm doing. Yep. But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. But as expected, it's going to be a pretty tough battle, so I'm using anything I can get my hands on. You should use two controllers at the same time. <laughs> it's not going to land that easily. Uh-oh, this is bad. Benegas. Vinny, is this supposed to be life? I thought you I meant like live. So I was going to say, no, this is dead. I'll use this chance to attack. Oh, Got this it. is this is gonna be. Oh, That's this is gonna be the it's meme image. We'll be seeing this for the next couple years. Lots of explosives. That Ouch. is good. That is good. Perfect shield of that, huh? From the good. past, two months ago, we got the finger. If I do this, no. like this. There's okay, hope, so chat. Remember, there's going to be interesting no things no. and announcements Fair. after all this. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series, maybe. Good. There's Mom. Is that... Really? You're in a good spot, Mom. Mr. Sakurai, does that explain... That explains a lot. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir's there or not. God, this interpreter is so fucking good. I forget that I'm not listening to Sakurai himself. Like the enemy might sometimes. See, they got it. But I mustn't give up. I can't waste this chance. There's another Smash Ball. Yes, got it. Now, what are you charging up for? Vinny, you're setting up disappointment. I mean, hey, I woke up early. I have the right to be a little disappointed and get other people There's disappointed. <laughs> Whack. I'm on three and a half hours sleep, four well, hours sleep. You can take the hammer, but it's mine. Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him. I was trying to fight using Byleth's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. It's not that. Like I said, you know, it's fine. Chat, it's fine. We're all gonna it live be fun to play like until this, we don't. Especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. DMC2 is back! Now, about the additional music. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made <laughs> taking those existing tracks into consideration. Eleven songs are being added. This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. I think my favorite tweet is from... We're also adding in a new spirit board. Akinola. He wrote, it includes I paid for in-flight Wi-Fi just to be disappointed by another goddamn Fire Emblem character in Smash Brothers, and it's a picture of sweaty Papa so John. This is legend class. Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series' history. <laughs> the final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand, but you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Now for the Mii Fighter costumes. Oh, Please take a look. Here's another good tweet. Not only am I going to show you another Fire Emblem character, I'm going to tell you all about what Fire Emblem is, just in case you didn't know by now, because there's 30 fucking Fire Emblem characters in the game already. Anyway, here's, uh... Here you go. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's what's his name? From the thing with the uh, Assassin's uh, Creed... Uh, Creed... 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 That's fairly unexpected. Nah. No. Assassin's Dream.
Always up for more Mega Man. That, I mean... We may never get X as a specific character, but I'm fine with that, I guess. I thought we had X already, <laughs> to be honest. Here's more Mega Man. They're getting ready for that ZX collection. Oh, no shit! Okay, that's cool. Cuphead. Cuphead. That's a good one. Includes a music track. I like a music track. Altier and Cuphead are fucking wacky. That's bananas. Did I say bananas and then a banana appeared on screen? Hi. This time, we're releasing a Cuphead costume. Uh, Dante. And for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. I hope you enjoy these as well. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. If someone has created a Mii Fighter, oh, yeah. you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. Go into the levels, Sakurai. Go into the levels, take a look at and them. And now, onto the Amiibo. Go look at the videos, Mr. Sakurai. The color palette look at what people Dark are making. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release on Friday, January 17th. Five fighters joined the fight. Here we go, everybody. With the addition of Violet, the fighters' pass is finally complete. The lineup was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard, and Violet. Okay. From more than 70 fighters, only five have been added. Except, but I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? Yeah, I like Ho's mad when mechanics we add a the new best. Fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. <laughs> As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. DLC is back. That one or two might suffice, but well, have a look. Oh shit! Here we go, chat. This is what I fucking woke up for. That screen right there. That's it. Oh shit! Another five. Eleven. Six additional fighters will join the battle. Are you Not mental? Like there'll be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available for pre-purchase on the date shown, so please keep an eye out. And now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now, and I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass no. Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. Reveal one. Reveal, <laughs> reveal a character. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. No, Furthermore, dude. the new additions have already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. He's like, leave me alone. Fucking stop. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Last time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. Okay. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter, the ancient soldier gear from The Legend of Zelda hey. Breath of the Wild. This will not be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. Fine. Got a bucket on his head. 
don't, don't do that. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Are we addressing this now? At 9 in the morning? was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or 6 to 7 if you really want to get into the weeds. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. Number one? I feel like it's become more than a fighting game, some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. Also, I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. <laughs> the first fighters pass just wrapped up, but it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means, no breaks for me. Nope. I plan to keep working hard, so I hope you can continue. Take a little support. vacation, Mr. Sakurai. Take a couple days off. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. We're not getting any more reveals. Shit. <laughs> oh boy. That is um that is definitely interesting. Well, chat, I will be here to put a little bit of a pin on this. And I'll say that, uh, I, you know, I'm definitely not, um, I'm not uh, that happy about waking up early now. Um, I, Fire Emblem fans, apparently Three Houses is very good. So, that's cool. Maybe, maybe they'll be happy. Um, I think, as, as always, I will play the character and I will enjoy it just based on the fact that it's a new character with some new game mechanics. Um, I'm, listen, I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. And yet at the same time, I get a chance to look at, at Twitter and people are just losing their shit. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just a fun thing. It's a fun thing to, to celebrate at this time in the morning. And um, again, you know, it maybe wouldn't be so bad if we didn't get the entire history of the Fire Emblem. He should have dropped another character along with it, even if it meant waiting a little bit longer for this. Um, Vinny, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Just say you don't like it. It's okay. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. That's the truth. Um, but I, it's it. Life goes on. You know, after I go back to bed and wake up, I'll just. It was a dream. It's not that big of a deal. There's six more characters coming. Um, it's going to be cool. It's going to be Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening. It's going to be Lynn from Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Um, it's going to be... I'm th what other Fire Emblem character names do I know? It's going to be uh, Hector. Who, who's that? I don't know. It's going to be Cordelia from Fire Emblem Awakening. Dreeb from Bob and Burger. I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know, there's a lot of characters on the way, and, and a Gatekeeper will be out, and Tharja. Can't wait for that Gatekeeper. Um, Sakurai is gatekeeping our happiness. For everyone that stayed up all night for this, for everyone that woke up super early for this, you know, we, we kind of have no one to blame but Nintendo. I was going to say ourselves, but God damn it, Nintendo. Why so early? Um, the other problem is, uh, I was going to say that the Nintendo Direct that I wanted, like just the Direct in general, I feel would have been a better move than the full in-depth presentation. I feel like announcing, like, we have six more characters in development. And by the way, here's a little trailer for Byleth. You know, and then the rest of it would be a bunch of good announcements. 
That would have probably been a little bit more. I think people would have been a little less angry, myself included, just because then it would have softened the blow and we get to see what the hell's going on with Nintendo for the rest of the year. Because um, we still don't know a lot of what they're doing. Um, and I really want to know what the fuck they've got planned for the rest of the year. So whatever direct we may get, I think it would have been better to sneak that in there. So, um, you know, for people that think that this delayed the direct, it might have. I mean, maybe we'll still get one in January. But, um, uh, yeah. So, again, uh, yes, I'm disappointed. I'm not that angry. I still, you know, I still <laughs> love Smash. I still am going to play it. And I am going to use the character. As you get older, you learn that um, characters in a video game being revealed do not actually tend to ruin your entire day. Maybe they'll ruin 15 minutes, but it's it, luckily it's not too big of a deal. So thank God for that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> That'll be fine. I'll just get over it real quick. And then we get on with our lives. We play the game, enjoy it, and then I can, um, and then I can live. And then we wait until the, the rest of the characters. Cuphead was cool. Altier was cool to see for a little bit, even as a me costume. And uh, the stage looks kind of cool because it's four different stages in one. But otherwise, yeah, this was this was not worth waking up for. If this was like if it was like um, forty five minute direct presentation on the new Fire Emblem character, I would have stayed. I, I would have woke up and went right back to bed if if I knew that was what was happening. Um, but that said. Six characters in the future is exciting. And they're going to fucking just keep taking my money. And I'm gladly going to spit it up because it's Smash Brothers. And because I know that at least some of those characters are going to be really cool. And we shall see. You know what would be cool? I'll tell you what. One more thing I will say will be cool is anything else from Square. In the future like any other character or maybe another stage more music square is such a huge part of my video game life that like so many of their games occupy my mentals you know what i mean to the point where i my favorite music is from square in the video game world I, my favorite game is chrono trigger and we only have like two songs and they both get claimed by Latin auteur. Um, and it's just Cloud, which is fine. Cloud is great, but there's just so much in the history of Square and they're like a really important part of gaming and a por an important part of my life. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing anything else from Square and maybe they could fucking loosen up and get some more music in the game. So that would be cool. Whatever it would be, I'd be fine with it. But um and of course, I still would love Doom Slayer. Sorry, Doom Guy. And I would love Dante. Those would be um, three things that I would like, like to see in, in Pack 6. Uh, no more Fire Emblem. Please. No more Fire Emblem is necessary. Thank you. Um, something tells me one of those fucking characters is going to be a Pokemon. So, be open to that idea. Um... I don't think they're going to go for a silly character again. I said this the other day that something like Piranha Plant or something really like niche, like a Wii Fit trainer, like I don't expect Ring Fit people to be in the game because that just doesn't seem like it would sell. You know, they still have to sell DLC and whether you like it or not, Fire Emblem is a huge series in Japan and it has a presence in the West too and it sells. And I feel like this character means a lot to a lot of people. The vocal majority here are going to be uh, uh, very pissed about this because it's not the characters they had in mind, myself included. But this character is going to sell and some people are going to be real happy about it. Um, I mean, hey, we got Terry. Not a lot of people were into Terry. And I think a lot of people, when Terry came out, kind of won them over because Terry's a fun character. And he says, Power dive and bust a wharf. So that's cool. Smash community just hates Fire Emblem for the wrong reasons. 
I don't know. I, I mean, I... The only reason I'm not into it is because we already have a million fucking Fire Emblem characters. I mean, I don't know the reasons the Smash community hates anything. I don't follow it that closely, but I do know that, I guess for me, I really wouldn't want more Fire Emblem at all, just because we have so fucking many. Um, and that being said, I play Robin. I, Robin's cool as a character, but will I play the new character? Maybe. All right, I'm going to go now because um, it is now 48 minutes past nine. I could have just said 9.48, <laughs> but I'm going to go back to bed and then go about my life as if uh, today was a blip, just a blip. I will see you all um, probably the usual stream time with more video game, and uh, you all have a good night, and try not to take it, and day actually for most of you, and try not to let this bum you out too much if it does, because it's it's whatever, but I'm with you. I feel it. I'm, I'm, you heard my reactions. I'm right there with you. So I guess try to have a good day. And uh, remember, Sakurai literally took your childhood pet, resurrected it, and then was a good pet owner to it for quite a while. And still is, because Sakurai is a pretty all right dude. But that's a, he also ruined your life in different ways. So uh, just be, be aware of that. Okay, good night. Goodbye, good day. See you later. Smash Brothers forever.